Good afternoon, my friends. Today I'm in Getty D. In fact, it's Getty D2, the Getty D2 uh, apartment complex in uh, the municipality of uh, uh, Lisanacer. And uh, today we are going to drive to uh, a place that I like to visit. It's in uh, Tamares, I think, or uh, rather. Uh, Libananier. It's the Libananier apartment complex. I like to visit that place because the, there are many uh, shops there, sandwich shops that sell uh, great burgers. They sell great burgers and all sorts of sandwiches. All sorts of sandwiches, guys, uh, including uh, Algerian tacos, uh, a type of sandwich they call tacos here in Algeria, a tacos. Even in the singular, it's a tacos with an S. Uh, they are different from those classic uh, Mexican tacos that you know, that everyone knows worldwide. Uh, these tacos are in fact, uh, here in Algeria they are made of uh, that sheet uh, bread. And uh, I think that they call it chapata or something. I'm not really familiar with all these names, although I like that food. Uh, anyways, so... Uh, they they sell all those sandwiches there anyways so uh, whenever I want to uh, buy sandwiches for the family when I want to well, I want my wife to rest for a while and uh, you know spare her cooking dinner I drive there in order to buy sandwiches uh, in fact we were very often buy, buy uh, hamburgers from there so now I'm going to show you how to drive there uh, I have always wanted to go there, I mean before, but it was, it was only recently that I discovered that place. I mean, I had uh, time to park there and uh, buy sandwiches from there. The place is known for its uh, shops. There are many shops side by side. And, uh, well, you can choose your shop and order anything you want. And it's all, uh, you know, the, 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 there is parking space there. There's also, you know, it's it's for takeaway, by the way. There are no tables, uh, there are no chairs and tables. There are only, uh, it's only the shops there. It's like uh, snack bars. You either eat there at the bar, at the counter, or uh, you take it away. But it's uh, such a nice place, in fact. Uh, it's uh, located in such a nice area because uh, the place we are driving to... Okay, so now we are on uh, the Lisanacer Road. Uh, if you want to go to Salonville, you take the right. If you want to go to the Martyrs Memorial, you take the right. Uh, so as I told you, uh, the good thing about that place is that... I shouldn't be speeding here, by the way. It's a dangerous road here. I uh, shouldn't exceed 60 kilometers per hour. Oh, and by the way... The police sometimes install radars here, speeding radars, therefore you've got to be really careful here. Especially in this spot, on the right, they install uh, speeding radars and if you get clocked speeding here, then you are going to pay a fine and uh, your driver's license is going to be suspended for three months. For a whole three months and it's gonna be a... I mean, it's not fun. I once had my license suspended for speeding and it wasn't fun at all. I had to walk in the rain. Oh, so we see that he's on the right. So as I told you, uh, um, the place where uh, those sandwich shops are located uh, is uh, not very far from uh, Lido and uh, Fotlo and, uh, you know, uh, Borchilkifen. Therefore, okay, so we see that he's on the right. Borchilkifen, I said, uh, and Borchilkifen is known for its beaches, La Sirene 1 and La Sirene 2, so you could purchase those sandwiches and go to the beaches. We are in... Uh, we are in... Uh, we, we are on August 10th. Uh, Algeria is uh, still experiencing a lockdown. Uh, but beaches are closed and uh, there is a curfew at 8 o'clock here in Algiers. So it's pretty, pretty sad. All this is because of the spread of this new variant of uh, of uh, coronavirus it's such a sad thing to see uh, 
beach is empty in the middle of the summer it was it's just like last year 2020 so we are in 2021 and uh, the sublet walkway is on my left it's on my left and it's completely empty such a sad thing such a sad thing see and uh, here is uh, the Carrobier or Haroba uh, gas station it's on the right and uh, the taxi the intercity taxi station is on my right too here in Haroba we are in Hussein Day, in the territory of Hussein Day. And the bus station, the intercity bus station is over there, it's on the right too. It's, uh, today it's a little bit misty, as you can see over there. The, the Algiers Mosque is in the background, it's a little bit misty. It's hot and misty at the same time. As you can see, there are buses on the right. That's the the bus station. The buses are uh, parked outside of the station when they are not uh, when they are not loading passengers. But stars, I mean, the, this lockdown, the lockdown this year isn't as harsh uh, as uh, the lockdown of 2020. Because we still can go, uh, okay, we can't visit parks, we can't go to parks, uh, amusement, par amusement parks are closed, beaches are closed, that's the most painful thing. But uh, now if you want to go to Benakinun, you take the right. And do that too, via the Wadu Shaykh tunnels. So as I told you, uh, but stores remain open and they serve takeaway food. And now we are approaching the Al Harash River and its bridge. And also the mosque. This is the third largest mosque in the world, the Algiers Mosque. It only took us seven minutes to drive from Galiti here. It's unbelievable because usually th there is traffic here in rush hour. Now it's uh, I think five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, as you can see, the road is empty because it's a holiday. This is the this is Muharram first, and Muharram is the first. This is the first day of the Muslim calendar of the Muslim year of the Hijri year. This is how we call it, we Muslims. The Hijri year, and it celebrates the the day when uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, migrated to uh, to uh, from from Mecca, his birthplace, to Medina. So this is the mosque on the right. It's absolutely huge. It's a monumental building. Uh, it's very beautiful although it hasn't been uh, open to the public it was open to to the public for a, for a, for a, for a few days last year then because of the, the increase in the numbers of uh, infections of coronavirus infections uh, the mosque was closed again and uh, the Algerian government is planning to make uh, a grand use ceremony inauguration ceremony for this mosque as soon as things things get, uh, get better and they are going to invite uh, scholars from all around the world and diplomats from all around the world in order to come and, and, uh, and attend that ceremony because the Algerian government wants to wants this mosque to be a symbol of the peace and uh, uh, you know coexistence between people and the symbol of moderation of moderate Islam. It's also a, a very important landmark uh, for Algiers and Algeria as a whole. And this is the largest mosque here in Africa. This is the third largest mosque in the world. It was built on an area of 400,000 square meters and it has the tallest minarist in the world. So it has broken uh, many records. 
within a world record. The tallest Penrith in the world, 267 meters tall, I think. You've got to check that on the internet if you want the, if you want the exact information. So now we are approaching our destination. We are approaching the Bebsuar Bridge. So I've got to pull over to the right to get into the right lane. Sorry guys if I haven't been answering your messages lately. I was very busy. I was very busy in, uh, in July. Very busy. So I didn't manage to find time to, to, to answer all, all of your messages and comments on the channel. All right, so now this is the Bebsuar Bridge. We are exiting this motorway. Bebsuar is in front of us and the Burjilkithan is on our uh, right. It's on our right. Be careful here because there is oncoming traffic as you are entering this road. Because oncoming traffic sometimes comes very fast from, from Bebzuar. That's traffic exiting Bebzuar. And this is the Beb Bebzuar Bridge. It's a landmark. If you want to go back to the city center, you take the right. So, guys, this is uh, Libanani. This area, I think, this whole area is known as Libanani. It means banana plants. Uh, because maybe there were banana. I mean, there was a, a banana grove here. They used to grow bananas here. I don't know. I have no idea. There is a beautiful footbridge over there for local residents to cross this wide road safely. Oh, and there is a hotel here, the Honey Hotel. It's on the right, and there is also a supermarket, a Carrefour, Carrefour so supermarket, somewhere on the right. I once tried to visit it, but uh, well, it was. It used to be located between uh, in Lafarge, in that area of Hussein Daimon as Lafarge, but because it had a small, uh, a small parking lot, it was relocated uh, to this place here. I once tried to visit it, but I didn't like waiting in the queue in order to enter its garage. I'm um, not used to waiting in a queue in order to go and find some. I mean, uh, find parking space. I prefer the, uh, our Ardis. I prefer Ardis. So the stores or the the shops, sorry, the sandwich shops are on the left. Uh, and now we are going to go to that roundabout turnaround. I'm not sure. I I don't know if I can film the the the, the shops for you. Uh, there is a mall on the right. This is the road that links uh, uh, the fair or Al Harash, Al Harash to to Lido, to uh, to the neighborhood known as Lido. This is the road that links the two neighborhoods. And uh, the Algiers Fair is located here on this street, on this road. This road is also known as La Ceramique because there are lots of stores that sell ceramic goods here, ceramic tiles and bathtubs and sinks, bathroom sinks and uh, kitchen sinks and all those things made of ceramic and now okay take it easy there is a uh, that uh, small speed bump all right 13 minutes to arrive here and yes this is our entrance i almost missed it all right so guys pay close attention here these are the shops the sandwich shops they sell uh, I think quiches and uh, souffles. I'm not sure whether they, this is what they are called in English or over there in, in the United States and the UK and Australia and everything. So uh, they sell sandwiches and uh, Algerian tacos. Uh, yes. And uh, they sell them at a reasonable price because there are so many of them here. As you can see. There is another guy here who sells, uh, I don't know. And this is the parking lot. This is where you can park your car in order to go and order food. It's such an interesting place. It's such an interesting place. I've discovered it recently. And uh, that's it. They even sell bureks. 
80 at 80 dinars a piece not bad at all but we we make bulaks at home uh, because they are okay you can google it bulak we make them at home we fill them with with with, uh, with sauce and uh, everything so that's it guys i guess i guess that oh sorry i guess that we have uh reached the end of our trip here uh all right i hope that you liked my video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button in order to uh, receive more notifications on my videos and uh, drive safely take care of yourselves and goodbye